the first thing um, that I think a lot of companies know, and we, we covered this, you know, briefly, but the biggest mistake that any seller makes is not knowing what they don't know. And that's something that only education will tear that down. Webinars, podcasts, even this one, articles, they're all great for additional information, but to get a baseline, you have to get all the information, which that's why I built the courses, right? You have to get that solid baseline. Mm -hmm. So, but let's talk about some of the specific mistakes that many sellers make that I see again, coaching all these companies. The first thing that I see them make, uh, the mistake they make is doing things out of order. And so it's one of the things that a lot of sellers like there's, they feel totally overwhelmed. There's so many things to do. In fact, we even have a checklist um, that I can give you the link to for, for, uh, for your listeners that we, uh, that please we offer do. Please because do. it just takes all the complexity. It's like, here's the list of all the things that you need to do in order with links. Right. And we see people make, um, the mistake of doing things out of order. And a couple specific examples are advertising before optimizing. They're like, oh, I know optimi you know, yeah, optimizing advertising, we've got all these, let's get advertising going, going, going. Well, the problem is if you have a 5% conversion rate and you start running ads on that, you're gonna be making keyword changes, bid adjustments, pausing keywords, you know, negating keywords that mm -hmm. if you were to optimize first, you could go from a 5% conversion rate to a 10% conversion rate. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden it completely changes how you bid, how you optimize, how you average, like it completely changes everything. So if I have to take dollars and prioritize where I'm going to spend that money, you always mm -hmm. optimize first and then you advertise because it's going to make your advertising dollars that much more effective. I mean, I just doubled the efficacy of my ad spend if I can increase the conversion rate from 5% to 10%, right? So to frame this whole thing up, and we're going to kind of cover this in order, which is why we did a little uh, retooling in terms of the topics that we covered in which order. But I have this sort of philosophy in terms of a successful, successfully launch a product. It's kind of like launching a rocket. So you start with the infrastructure, the platform, mm -hmm. you have to have a solid foundation. That's the first piece. The second piece is optimizing. And that's aiming the rocket, right? Because if you don't optimize, you don't aim it it's sort of like, who knows where it could be pointing? It could be pointing flat. It could be pointing down. Like you don't, <laughs> you don't want to do that. If you want to hit the moon, you got to, you got to aim it towards the moon. So optimizing your listing mm -hmm. is, is aiming the rocket and then launching the rocket is the third part. And that's adding fuel. That's advertising, affiliate marketing, that's Amazon live, those sort of things. So right. we'll kind of cover those in the order, but if you do things out of order, you can advertise before you optimize and it's going to kill your conversion. You can increase sales before you set up your systems and wind up getting suspended for things like late shipping or not handling customer service. Like there's so many things from an infrastructure standpoint, you've got to get your foundation set first. Mm -hmm. And the two other things that are really critical are people who list products before brand registry. Now, now you can do what's called IP accelerator. And, um, the the attorney firm that I work with uh, typically is uh, called Fisher Broyles. They're part of Amazon's IP accelerator program. So if you don't have a trademark, get a trademark. It will help protect your brand, will help protect your products. And you can typically get that trademark process started within 30 days and, and then get that applied to brand registry. So you can get early access to brand registry. But the thing is, if you list products before you get brand registry, then get brand registry, those products aren't automatically, quote unquote, enrolled in brand registry. So you right. have to do what's called a partial update with a flat file template. Like things just get exponentially more complicated because you just sort of did things out of order. Um, you can always go back and sort of fix it and reconnect the dots, but it's it's more complicated. Um, just doing the double work for yourself. Yeah, you're just having to do things twice in order to get things to work correctly. So if you get brand registry first, then you list your products under your brand, they're enrolled automatically in brand registry, they're mm -hmm. listed correctly, it's it's a better deal. The last thing that I see people prioritize is trying to build out a storefront. So those are people who have brand registry. You can build out an mm -hmm. Amazon storefront, which is like a mini website, and they focus on building out their storefront before their product detail pages you want to reverse that. Detail pages are where customers buy. That's where the majority of your traffic is going to come in. Always focus on optimizing your listings first, then mm -hmm. focus on your storefront second. So these are small but important things that, again, a lot of sellers do out of order. They just sort of feel confused and overwhelmed. What should I do? When should I do it? What should I do first? And that's the first thing that we really educate sellers on is 
what to do and in what order. Hey, it's Ria Mittal here. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe to Seller App's main YouTube channel where we upload all things Amazon and some how-to guides that will make sure that you're running on Amazon. You will not get this anywhere else. Until the next time, happy selling.